for a thousand tongues to sing thy great Redeemer's praise, the glories of my God and King, the triumphs of his grace. My gracious Master and my God, assist me to proclaim, to spread through all the earth abroad the honors of your name. Thus the name that charms our fears, that bids our sorrows cease. Tis music in the sinner's ears, tis life and health and peace. He breaks the power of cancer sin, he sets the prisoner free. His blood can make the foulest clean, his blood availed for me. God of glory, praise and love, be now and ever king. By saints below and saints above, the church in earth and heaven. As we remember, all saints of North America, it seems appropriate to use the anaphora of discipleship. Blessed be the kingdom of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and hope to all people. Heavenly Father, may your name be glorified. May your kingdom be established. Holy, holy, holy are you, loving God. Heaven and earth are full of your great glory. Glory to you, O God. Hear this, O Israel, our God is sovereign and singular. We shall love our God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. Our God alone shall we serve. Hear this, O Israel. We shall love our neighbors as ourselves. On these two great commandments hang all the law and the prophets. O God, who shall dwell in your house? Who shall rest on your holy mountain? In purity of heart let us stand before your altar, O Lord. Lord, who shall dwell in your house? Who shall rest on your holy mountain? those who walk without spot, acting in righteousness, those who speak truth in their heart and place no deceit on their tongue. In purity of heart, let us stand before your altar, O Lord. Those who do no evil to their neighbor and accept no bribes against the innocent. Those who reject the evil as worthless, but honor those who fear the Lord. In purity of heart, let us stand before your altar, O Lord. Those who are faithful and just to their companions and do not lend their money for gain. Those who accept no bribe against the innocent, those who do these things are just, and nothing can ever disturb them. In purity of heart let us stand before your altar, O Lord. O God, who shall dwell in your house, who shall rest on your holy mountain. How beautiful and glorious is your house, O God! In purity of heart let us stand before your altar, O Lord. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Most high and glorious God, we give you thanks for the wonders of the universe. We give you thanks for the example of the saints of North America, people that we can look up to, people who we can emulate. Teach us to follow your will as they did. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Remember that when we gather, we do so with the whole church. Heaven and earth are joined in prayer. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. We praise you and we thank you, O Lord our God and Savior, giver of life. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time and with one accord to make our prayer to you. And you have promised that when two or three gather in your name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O God, our desires and petitions, as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come everlasting life. For you are a good God and love humanity, and to you we ascribe glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lift up your voice, and give glory to our God, the Eternal Shepherd. Adisha Allah, 
कहदीशा कहला तन्हा कहदीशा लम्मा है युता ऐसा है खेमले है हो सोते हो है हो सीस की रोस है हो आतन्नतोस ले सोनी मास सांतुस देहुस सांतुस फोटीस सांतुस इमोटलीस मिसेरे रेनोबीस Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Holy God, Holy and Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us. Holy, glorious God, have mercy upon us always, according to your promise. Let us listen with our hearts to God's holy word. May the Holy Spirit teach us and guide us. Amen. A reading from the book of Samuel. All the elders of Israel gathered together, and came to Samuel at Ramah, and said to him, You are old, and your sons do not follow in your ways. Appoint for us, then, a king to govern us, like other nations. But the thing displeased Samuel when they said, Give us a king to govern us. Samuel prayed to the Lord, and the Lord said to Samuel, Listen to the voice of the people in all that they say to you. For they have not rejected you, but they have rejected me from being king over them. Just as they have done to me from the day I brought them up out of Egypt to this day, forsaking me and serving other gods, so also they are doing to you. Now then, listen to their voice only. You shall solemnly warn them and show them the ways of the king who shall reign over them. So Samuel reported all the words of the Lord to the people who were asking him for a king. He said, There will be the ways of the king who will reign over you. He will take your sons and appoint them to his chariots, and to be his horsemen, and to run before his chariots. And he will appoint for himself commanders of thousands, and commanders of fifties, and some to plow his ground, and to reap his harvest, and to make his implements of war, and the equipment of his chariots. He will take your daughters to be perfumers, and cooks, and bakers. He will take the best of your fields, and vineyards, and olive orchards, and give them to his courtiers. He will take one-tenth of your grain, and your vineyards, and give it to his officers, and his courtiers. He will take your male and female slaves, and the best of your cattle and donkeys, and put them to his work. He will take one-tenth of your flocks, and you shall be his slaves. And in that day you will cry out because of your king, whom you have chosen for yourselves, but the Lord will not answer you in that day. But the people refused to listen to the voice of Samuel. They said, No, but we are determined to have a king over us so that we may also be like other nations, and that our king may govern us and go out before us and fight our battles. Samuel said to the people, Come, let us go to Gilgal, and there renew the kingship. So all the people went to Gilgal, and there they made Saul king before the Lord in Gilgal. There they sacrificed offerings of well-being before the Lord, and there Saul and all the Israelites rejoiced greatly. This is the word of the Lord. 
a reading from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Just as we have the same spirit of faith that is in accordance with Scripture, I believed, and so I spoke. We also believe, and so we speak. Because we know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus, and will bring us with him into his presence. Yes, everything is for your sake, so that grace, as it extends to more and more people, may increase thanksgiving to the glory of God. So we do not lose heart. Even though our outer nature is wasting away, our inner nature is being renewed day by day. For this slight momentary affliction is preparing us for an eternal weight of glory beyond all measure. Because we look not at what we see, but at what cannot be seen. For what can be seen is temporary, but what cannot be seen is eternal. For we know that if the earthly tent we live in is destroyed, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. The Word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Mark. The crowd came together again, so that Jesus and his disciples could not even eat. When his family heard it, they went out to restrain him, for people were saying, He's gone out of his mind. And the scribes who came down from Jerusalem said, He has Beelzebub, and by the ruler of the demons he casts out demons. And he called them to him, and spoke to them in parables. How can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. If a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand, but his end has come. But no one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his property without first tying up the strong man. Then indeed the house can be plundered. Truly, I tell you, people will be forgiven for their sins and whatever blasphemies they utter. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit can never have forgiveness but is guilty of an eternal sin. For they had said, He has an unclean spirit. Then his mother and his brothers came, standing outside. They sent to him and called him. A crowd was sitting around him, and they said to him, Your mother and your brother and sisters are outside, asking for you. He replied, Who are my mother and my brothers? And looking at those who sat around him, he said, here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does the will of God, he is my brother and sister and mother. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Human beings, we are always convinced we know what we want, we know what we need, we know what is right. And every time we listen to that in the scriptures. Back in the days of the prophets, Samuel, give us a king. We need a king so we can be like all the other nations. You can get them. God says, no, no, don't, don't do that. It's, it's not a good idea. But it's what we want. Okay, here are going to be the problems with that. It's what we want. Okay. Later, Jesus comes, talks with people. His brothers and sisters and his mother come and say, oh, come, come, come away from this. This is problematic. This is a, this is a deal. You know, come, come have some dinner. He points to the people around him and says, here are my brother and sisters. Here's my mother. We get caught up in what we think we want. 
Jesus says, how can Satan cast out Satan? They're, they're accusing him of blasphemy. He has an unclean spirit by which he can cast out the unclean spirits. Okay. No. Nah. He's Jesus. He is, very literally, the Son of God. Saying, go, leave these people. But people get caught up in what they believe. His brothers and sisters, that was really a troubling translation for me when I was a kid. How could Jesus have brothers and sisters? Well, the fact is, the word for cousin and the word for brother in Hebrew, in Aramaic, back in the day, are the same word. His close relatives, the people who knew him best, the people he grew up with, wanted to come inside. They wanted to be done with this business just, you know, hang out like he's supposed to. But he continues to teach. Whoever does the will of God is my brother and my sister and my mother. We have a word for people who do the will of God. Saints. Uh, my Serbian friends use Sveti. Sveti is not exactly saint. Sveti is light giver, light bringer, illuminated, someone who shows others the path. And we've had saints throughout the centuries, from before Jesus, through Jesus' time, after Jesus' time, to this very present day. Some of them are canonized and in the liturgy, and we remember them specifically. Today we remember all of the saints of North America. And there are quite a few who are canonized, both in the Western tradition and in the Orthodox tradition. But there are many who are simply the saints of God every day of their life. They do the will of God and are Jesus' brother and sister and mother. It's not magic. It's not somehow, you know, God looked on them and made them better than other people. No. They made a conscious choice to follow. Let us have the wisdom to make the conscious choice to follow the will of God. Let us stand well. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from on high and for salvation for our souls, for the well-being of the holy churches of God and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most reverend bishops of the Holy Synod, for myself, your unworthy servant, for the venerable priesthood, for the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace throughout the world, for our civil authorities and all in service in our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city and for every city and countryside and for all those living in them in faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by sea, air, and land and in space, for the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their safety and salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God, to you, O Lord. Together, let us entrust our souls to God. We ask you, Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, that your grace be with us, forgive our sins, and protect us. Let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. Grant, O oh God, that we may please you by our good works all the days of our lives. By the help of your grace, may we always be worthy and eager to offer you glory, honor, and thanksgiving, O Lord of all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, ever one God, now and through all ages of ages. Let us honor the Lord our God with our substance and with the first fruits of our labor, 
that our barns may be filled with plenty and our presses overflow with wine. Do not neglect the widow and the orphan, strangers, prisoners, and homeless. Remember the sick and the suffering. Amen. 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 Blessed are you, O Lord God of all creation, for you have given us living bread, fruit of the earth, and work of our hands. Let it become life-giving bread. Bless the lives of those who offer it and those for whom we pray. fervor of faith, through the Holy Spirit. Water is mixed with wine and wine with water. So let these two become one, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Blessed are you, O God of all, for you have given us this wine, fruit of the vine and work of our hands. Let it become our spiritual drink the very mystery of the blood which flowed from the side of your beloved Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. O God, Holy Mighty One, who accepts the sacrifice of praise from your people, accept the prayers we are about to offer for our sake and for all of creation. Grant us the grace to be a living sacrifice acceptable to you. We ask this in the name of Jesus, now and forever. Amen. The noble Joseph took down your most pure body from the cross, wrapped it in a clean cloth, and with fragrant spices laid it in a burial in a new tomb. Look upon us with favor, O God, that the walls of the new and everlasting Jerusalem may be built up, where there will be justice and peace, the lamb and the lion will lie down together. May the Lord wash away our sins with the hyssop of love. May God cleanse us and heal us in the great ocean of his mercy and love. Let us love one another, that with one mind we may confess. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the new world to come. Amen. 
let us now confess our sins and failings, and with clear minds and hearts and a humble spirit, with eyes downward and hands and hearts raised, let us ask God's mercy, and let us forgive one another. Forgive us, O God. Let us rid ourselves of strife and divisions, hatred and hostility. Forgive us, O God. Let us receive the sacrament and be sanctified by the Holy Spirit. Forgive us, O God. Let this Holy Communion be for our resurrection and eternal salvation, and for the rec reconciliation of all creation and for everlasting life. Amen. May the living God forgive our sins and make us worthy to celebrate these holy mysteries, so that we may stand as we do now before our God on the last day. May the grace, the love, and the fellowship of the living God be with us now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Christ is among us. He is and ever shall be. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is right always and everywhere to give God praise. Lord our God, what we have heard, yes. What our mothers and fathers have told us, yes, is true. And we will join with them to proclaim your glorious deeds. What our mothers and fathers declared to us, we too will declare. Throughout time you open the doors of heaven to rain manna upon your human children, food for the journey. We will declare the glorious deeds of the Lord. Not once in the desert, when your people gathered, that they had left behind the richness of Egypt. We will declare to the generation the wonders of the Lord. Not when the new church struggled without the physical presence of Jesus, nor again when the persecutions made martyrs and confessors of your sons and daughters. We pledge ourselves to live the full life of your discipleship. Each time, to your people, you provided nourishment, manna fallen from the sky, the Spirit thundering into the upper room, the witness of Paul, a prisoner in Christ, and Jesus, your own, your beloved and our beloved. So therefore, with all the cloud of witnesses, our faithful ancestors, with the angels and saints and this company, we raise our song of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power, God of might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Father, the people of Jesus' time asked him, What can we do to accomplish the works of God? It is our question as well. We have heard the answer, Father. We must come to Jesus Christ in order to never be hungry and believe in him to never thirst. Jesus is with us today in the assembly of this household of faith. We call ourselves Christians, have taken that name to ourselves in faithfulness and in hope. God brought us to this holy place. We do today what has been commanded. He said on the night before he died, Take, eat, this is my body which is given up for you. At the end of the meal, he took the cup, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take and drink. This is the cup of my blood given for you. He gave us bread from heaven to eat. It is your church's desire, Father, to
to become in fact the body of Christ, and not just the body, but to grow to the full stature of Christ. So we beg of you, Father, to make us strong, loving, and wise. Give us with humility, gentleness, and patience. Father, send your Spirit upon us, one and all, now and evermore. Make us and these gifts of wine, which will nourish us, into the body and blood of your own Jesus, our Savior. Inspire all of our leaders, especially the Holy Synod of Bishops, and all who serve this community. Christ is the bread of life. Strengthen the bones, tissues, and spirits of all the members of this household that we might rightfully claim the inheritance promised and gained by Christ's death and resurrection. Whoever eats and drinks at this table will never be hungry. We remember those who are infirm, those who are unable to be with us for whatever reason. We pray for those whose faith is moving towards maturity. Knit all of us together, Father. Make of us one in the unity of spirit and the bond of peace. Whoever believes will never be thirsty. We give you our lives, for we want to be like the first apostles, to be prisoners in Christ. It is through him, Father, that we give these gifts. Amen. Amen. bread we break, is it not fellowship in the body of Christ? The cup we share, is it not fellowship in the blood of Christ? We who eat this bread and drink this cup shall have life everlasting. God shall raise us up on the last day. The table is furnished, the wine is poured. Let us flee from ignorance, and let us proclaim this unique and powerful mystery. The Lion of the tribe of Judah the root of Jesse, the son of David, has prevailed. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Here are God's gifts for God's people. Remember that Christ has died for us. Feed on him faithfully. Partake of this heavenly food and drink with hearts full of thanks and praise. O Christ, we are unworthy of your calling. Yet in faith we share this sacred banquet. Help us always to walk in your ways. Broken and distributed is the Lamb of God. Broken, but not divided. Ever eaten, but never consumed. But sanctifying those who partake of this heavenly food. I believe, O oh Lord, and I confess that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Accept me, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not reveal your mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but like the thief will I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. May the partaking of these holy mysteries, O Lord, be not for judgment, nor condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. I believe, O Lord, and I confess that this is truly your most precious body. This is truly your life-giving blood. Make me worthy to share these holy mysteries for the remission of sins and for eternal life. Amen. May the body and blood of Christ bring you to life everlasting.
Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith. Worshiping you, the undivided Trinity. The Trinity has saved us. God has filled us with spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord and has called us to share his kingdom without beginning or end. We feasted on God's word and this holy banquet. Made bold, let us make known our prayers and petitions. For the sick and the suffering and those who minister with them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those experiencing troubles in their life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of our country and to every country, that they may be filled with grace and follow the paths of peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our families and our loved ones, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of those prayers in our hearts, known to God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. All these prayers we make in the name of Jesus Christ, who lives now and forever. For you are our sanctification, O God, and we glorify you now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. May Christ our true God, risen from the dead through the prayers of his most holy mother and of the holy, glorious, and illustrious apostles and the holy, righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of St. Thomas, the apostle to India, and for all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is gracious and full of love for us. May this worship bear fruit in our lives. May God be praised in our words and deeds. May we walk with God and be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in love and peace to serve our God in neighbor and stranger. Peace be with you, and also with you. The liturgy is ended. Let us go.